welcome to this introduction to Plant Catalog. Plant Catalog is a library consisting of over 250 vegetation models from all over the world, all created with Plant Factory. What makes Plant Catalog different to other plant model collections on the market is its procedural approach. Instead of using a static mesh, you receive the procedural Plant Factory source file, which you tweak to your liking using published parameters and shape presets, and then you export a mesh to the 3D file format you desire. The exported mesh can also include baked wind animation as a point cloud or as an animated rig. Each procedural plant model contains hundreds of pre-built shapes for the same plant, from seasonal changes to dying plants, young plants and fully mature plants. So let's have a look at how to use Plant Catalog. To open the procedural files, you will need to install either Plant Factory or View. For exporting plants, we recommend Plant Factory over View for a more coherent user experience. Once you've installed Plant Factory, you need to download all Plant Catalog collections, which are 13 zip files in total. Each archive contains a self-extracting installer, which will install the models in a dedicated Plant Catalog folder on your hard drive. In Plant Factory, open any Plant Catalog plant from the content browser. Most plants ship in different versions, HD for high definition with higher polygon counts for the foreground, LD for low definition with a medium polygon count for mid and background scenarios, and also some RT plants with camera facing billboards and low polygon counts, which are mostly useful for view ecosystems. Some coniferous trees also include an FG version, which stands for full geometry and which includes real geometry for the needles instead of just texture maps with alpha maps for even faster rendering in large populations. Once a plant has been loaded, switch to the presets tab. Here you will find dozens or sometimes even hundreds of pre-made shape presets for that plant. The presets consist of maturity, health and season settings as basic parameters, as well as of custom parameters which differ from plant to plant. The preset names include information about these basic parameters. For example, MAT50 or M50 means a preset with 50% maturity. If you like a preset and would like to make further changes to it, switch the preset type to Custom. This will unlock all published parameters as well as maturity, health and season, if applicable, and you can edit the plant using all of these parameters. The plant's resolution within the bounds designed for HD, LD, RT and FG versions can be changed using the mesh resolution controls. You can display the wireframe in the viewport with this button to better see the changes and the polygon count is displayed in the bottom left corner of the viewport. On the meshing tab, you can select if you want the mesh to consist of triangles, quads or a mix of both. You can also generate new random variations of the plant with the dice icon in the top toolbar. Wind animation can be previewed with the wind button in the top toolbar. By right clicking the button, you can define the frame rate and the animation duration for preview and whether the animation should loop seamlessly. The wind intensity for the animation can be changed with the wind intensity slider. When you've created a model that you like, you can export it to a variety of 3D file formats. Plant Factory includes presets with recommended export settings for common 3D apps, but you can configure and save your own export settings using the custom mode. And if you are a Maya, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D or Unreal Engine user, you can also load procedural Plant Factory plants natively into those applications with the Plant Factory plugin, which you can opt to install alongside Plant Factory during the initial setup process. When you load a procedural plant catalog plant with the plugins into one of those apps, 
You can edit the plant just like you would in Plant Factory, but the plugin will also automatically create native materials for Arnold, Redshift, V-Ray, RenderMan, and for each native render engine of each application. And in the case of Unreal Engine, the plugin also supports generating master materials and Pivot Painter 2 wind data for real-time wind. We have dedicated tutorials on our YouTube channel about the plugins, so please check them out. Thanks for watching, and we wish you lots of fun with Plant Catalog. Thank you.